The making of the storyline of this video found to be quite challenging to introduce. How this type of panacea towards gold accumulations and fractional stackings meet my radar. Actually, the footage are old almost half a decade. The price of gold at that time is around 950 to 1000 and 100 US dollars. Almost double the price of gold today. I've been in Istanbul and Izmit in the breeze of summer and some time within the coldest winter. On those period, I took the chance on discovering Turkish gold coins and bullions. And from then up to now, my affinity continues. I was there many times from late year 2015 to the end of 2017. What you can see most are the winter footage that I took with no intention to be assemble after all on this purpose. So then, here we go. Let me discuss a little bit again about gold according to my personal opinion or heartfelt as of today basis. This will eventually fuels the sharing of story how handy to stack Turkish gold slowly through fractional strategy and some interesting beauty of obtaining them on that very particular given time. The main thing why we are taking few minutes discussing first about gold because the world right now gone a little bit crazy. Knowing where or what is the correct way of storing a hard earned fiat so as not to be easily consumed by high inflation rate because most of the government inability to hold on to the value of its own fiat currency. There is a long bad side of foregoing fiat currency systems that gains a strong deal of power from the exercise of free money creations which they continue creating at will. With a no costs or either obligations involved after all. This dishonest actions even in the present digitized system requires a lot of convincing power to people that the currency remains honest. Was it really honest as many people are thinking after all? That is why a lot of people are storing their hard earned money into gold. People from all walks of life, mostly the small middle class as well. Those people who wouldn't normally take the time to trade in any product or commodity, stock market, forex, or digital money. Many institutional investors and in various aggregates are converting towards the yellow asset. They just buy gold to hold their wealth because they feel it less risky at this moment, especially now in present pandemic situation. The virus still at large mutating and giving contagion continuously into national disorder. The critics of gold were always shouting as a boring assets. Yes, it is. If you consider them as an investment, but if you are pertaining the risk avoidance of permanent loss of value, which currency always do at the latter end, then gold is for you to hold. Anyway, everybody knows this, but I have to mention it again repeatedly. The reason and gold attributes being a perfect commodity and a unit of exchange. It is liquid and easily traded. Wherein what you have only to check is the narrow spread between the prices to buy and sell. It is easily transportable because it has a high value for its weight. It is the true or real money being divisible. You can divide it into coins or remelt it into bars without destroying it. Thus a great store of value. It is not subject to decay, rot or rust. It is interchangeable. It can be substituted for another piece of gold with no hassle. It is also nearly impossible to counterfeit as genuine gold is easily recognizable. When measured by weight, gold is easily countable and verifiable. It has an intrinsic value, being highly desired. There is not a single other commodity with those attributes, except, perhaps the silver. Going back to the subject matter, I found the interest on sharing this travel related toward uncommon scene coin, class varieties itself because, I consider them as one of the most valued coins to buy with low premium involved comparing to other government issued coins with high production cost of placing a coin into market. 
The only point I observed on this modern Turkish coins is the weight, which they say are so-called unorthodox denominations. This does not align with all the modern bullion's coins. However, if you wish to obtain Turkish gold with aligned denominations, weight and with a fineness stamp into it, you can buy or choose through the wide selections of sizes from the famous Turkish refiners, such as Gram Altın of Istanbul Latin Refinerisi, or the IAR, the Nader Metal Refinery is or NMR. They were both approved and well-known established Turkish gold refiners that are accredited by London Bullion Market Associations, LBMA. This subject matter is broad spectrum, wide range and not so interesting coins among many young collectors and numismatists alike. The coin does not shows any theater or movie drama, but gives a long history going back to the earliest gold coins that were being made in a place known as Lydia of about 640 BC. Lydia is now in present day as Turkey. So meaning, there is so much vital relationship of minting coins way back to the history of over 2000 years. The first gold coins is not pure gold as we have now. They were minted with their standard size and weight. Refined with a mixture of silver and gold called electrum. Extracted from geographical alluvial deposits through rivers coming from the mountains within. In Lydia, there was a place known as Sardis, being the main capital and was ruled by a king so named Croesus around 561 to 546 BC. His kingdom is well known to be rich flourishing in gold. The place I visited on this footage was just near to the ruins of old Sardis, some kilometers away. From those years with the long history going to present modern age, they already created and produced many denominations little to be known by collectors like me. Described as Sultani, Serafi, Urim, Clift, Tech, Istanbul, Dort, Luk, Onluk, Altan Mabub, Piasters, and Lira. These are some examples of fractional bars and bullion from Nader Metal Refinery AS or NMR. You can obtain them in local gold shop in almost near to spot price. There are a lot denominations, designs and packagings. During my repetitive visiting in Turkey, it was filled with so much fun and interest. The food are good. The kebab, shawarma and doner are my favorite meal. The taste of tomatoes, cucumber, salad and the meat are different compared to other places. I went to covered market places probably known to many as the Grand Bazaar, which a lot of gold shop can be found. On the beginning, many of my fellow collectors warned me about the fake gold coins and fraudulent sellers that I may encounter in Turkey's gold marketplace. I would like to clear this myth after all. Oppose and establish right connection to the people to know more on this field. These are some examples from Istanbul Altın Refinerisi or IAR. From big bars, fractional bars and bullion in various sizes. They are obtainable for any tourist in many gold shop in the Grand Bazaar area. And of course the same with the NMR products. They were near to the spot price giving a great value. The denominations, designs and packagings are in plenty of selections you will ever desire. I started first my interesting journey looking for a good barber shop to do first a presentable haircut. The barber gave me the vague but portable insights towards good locations in the bazaar, to where I can buy stuffs and the coins of my interest. It also helped me to be much more acquainted on the place. That guy really helped me a lot to know the place more better, in my persistence as a regular persona to establish peer-to-peer -peer relationships. I was able to talk to many dealers and common sellers in every place that I visited. We made successful winners deal on their shop, finish the tea they first offered, then shake each other's hand and walk away after each business transactions. The knowledge links and experience started to grow immensely by getting physical contact with the people who are doing the business in the day-to-day -day basis, in the coins and mostly histories within short stories from commoners. Some of them, still I cannot be found in the books or internet walls. 
there is still vast knowledge to be extract if you will dive deep into these field well the demand of gold coins in turkey are very strong locally the gold was very well loved domestically whenever i went inside the shop because they know me already being a visitor for many instances they will offer me a tea first it will start with fine greetings and we will spend 10 to 20 minutes talking with many things mostly about travels places gold market and coins with the history involved until we can smoothen the deal into few pieces of mescook or say net actually i do the friendly negotiations between that to acquire a quality with low premium at as close to the spot price in turkey the tax restrictions for the gold does not exist there is no prohibition of buying and selling gold and they often embraces it as a form of money i think i could say that this country should be known more to be the gold capital of the world same as they were back in the old days of turkey i exchanged my us dollar to local currency and money changer in the bazaar area be careful when you are doing this you should have companion or you must go in a reliable proper place of exchange counters like ilhan gold market for example where i deal with an amount full of cash most of the year dates of say net and mescook gold coins were available in many gold shops because they just easily ordered it from government mint the prices are almost the same in all the stores with a little difference a few dollars depending of the exchange rate imposed and gold price fluctuations This was also adjusted into real time that mostly displayed in the large LED screen in the store frontage of the actual gold price and forex or currency. The stores mostly receiving local currency only. Some are also accepting US dollar. However, if you like to transact with the bank, it is also much more safe and easy to buy gold in the bank. Their system embraces gold with innovative services along with ATM gold dispenser machine which are available in many big cities. like Istanbul, Izmir, Ankara and probably widely more distributed nationwide. Let us tackle the modern Turkish gold or also well known as Republic gold coins. The problem with old gold coins of Turkey is the unavailable literature in English. They are mostly in Arabic writings. Too bad opportunity to learn more deeper on this area. The Republic gold coins are much easy to obtain within a reasonable price. They are mass produced for domestic consumption in the past recent years and very popular to its citizens. There are two popular subtypes called Mescook and Saynet. Some of the Saynet coins in the bazaar glass display comes already with a ready hook soldered on its edge or rim with some tiny colored ribbons beautifully attached. The Saynet was started to be minted from 1898 and the Mescook was in 1944. They were both legal tender value and were officially declared in August 8, 1951. They were in legal tender value of piasters but the value is not engraved in the coin at all including the gold fineness and its weight The value of 1 lira is equivalent to 100 piasters The mescook was often called the thick coin while the saynet is the opposite which is the thin one They have their own official mint called Turkish state mint This is now located in Yildiz Beşiktaş since 1967 somewhere in Istanbul while prior transfer they were previously minting the state coins on top copy palace from 1723 to 1967 the mescook the obers depicts the head of kemal ataturk encircled by the words hakimi emilatinder meaning sovereignty rests with the nation and ankara which is the the capital city of turkey the reverse shows the words turkiye kumhuriyeti or meaning Republic of Turkey encircled by a wreath the year date is based on the number of years since 1923 when turkey was established as a republic you have to sum the 1923 to number below as they are written in a number figure for example 1923 underscore 90 meaning year 2013 if you add both numbers it will identify the year of minting The year date changes from 29 October to commemorate the date of Turkey Republic establishment until October 28th of the following year. Therefore, the example will mean that on October 29th, 2013 up to October 28th, 2014 as the following year is the minting date of the coin.
the Sena. The obverse depicts the head of Kamal Ataturk, encircled by 32 stars, and a decorative design incorporating flowers. The reverse shows that the words, Turkey a Yeti, or meaning the Republic of Turkey, and the year date of minting, encircled by 32 stars and again a decorative design of incorporated flowers. The year date changes on 1st of January. The Sainet gold coins includes Latin letters and pictures into its design since 1938. There are also a neglected series from 1817 to 1918, with Arabic styles and inscriptions from the reigns of Sultan Abdul Hamid II, dated AH 1293 to AH 1327 which is equivalent to Western date of 1876 to 1909, and with Sultan Muhammad V, dated AH 1327 to AH 1336, with an equivalent Western date as 1909 to 1918. They were also in same denominations with the modern Republic gold coins. It depicts a tugger with reshat, to the right and cross branches beneath. You have to identify the inscription below. It denotes the year of the reign of its minting. The other side has a branches encircling the inscriptions with a star at the top. The first step to know is to understand how to read the Arabic numbers from 1 up to 10. There are many different patterns in the gold coins minted since 1876 to 1909. So, you need to know the exact specialized numismatic literature. The young people even other dealers I met cannot distinguish properly the coins and cannot even read it. Except for one shop that I visited few times with a knowledgeable owner. His store was passed to him by his father and become my favorite venue to visit whenever I went to Izmir. The Turkish people embraces gold as a store of value. And it is common for them that they are giving advance leave producing fund in preparation for the gifts during various important occasions like marriage, ceremonies, child deliveries, life achievements and educational attainment or school graduations. It is a part of their culture among popular same to nearby countries like Greece, Yugoslavia, Romania, Bulgaria and many more. Don't forget to follow my Facebook page full penis bullion as well as my Instagram and YouTube channel. Leave a comment, like and don't forget to subscribe to keep you posted for new videos. Thank you for watching.